Hey, this is uh, Elliot Wavesage. I want to go do a quick market update. Like always, none of this is financial advice. So always do what's best for you. Uh, just use this for your education and entertainment purposes. Uh, so we're getting this bounce uh, off the low counter trend rally that um, at some point will fail. Uh, so let's see, for the Dow Jones, uh, there's a couple possibilities. Uh, here, we actually have only uh, completed a three swing uh, move up. Uh, what we had uh, looked at it as five waves from here morphed into a three swing move. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we had a really big uh, rejection here, which is almost what you would expect to see in a bear market uh, advance. So it'll be very interesting to see how we do today in the Dow if we get this follow through lower like I have here. Now, if we could still push higher, then you could probably uh, get an impulse out of this with the bearish divergence, but then we would be looking for a reach, deeper retrace, and eventually higher prices. So that's kind of how I look at the Dow Jones right now. SPY, uh, looking at it as a three-wave move. Uh, here uh, could be a connector in B, and then we need to finish an impulse in C. And, uh, you know, technically C could just keep going. Uh, there's no real rule on how big it can be. Typically, you see it uh, reverse uh, in this uh, general vicinity, but it can uh, definitely go beyond it. Uh, so I'll just draw the typical uh, reversal area. And uh, again, we're looking for an impulse up, and we already seem to have that here at this peak. Uh, so, you know, just have to be uh, remind yourself that it could still push a little higher, um, but it technically can even take out this high. So you're, you're, if you're trying to sh time a short here, know, know that in the shorter cycle, it's actually still in this uptrend if we have not got any kind of reversal yet. Uh, so uh, just, this is why I don't really like to trade in this type of situation and, and when a chart looks like that. Uh, the NASDAQ is back testing this neckline. Uh, it's up in this is the area where we typically reverse. It looks like you have about five up, so you probably uh, could see the C finish. However, if we there is a possibility, again, it could still extend. But at some point, I'm looking for a reversal lower. Uh, the IWM uh, did make a new high. It looks like it only made it in three. So I'd be looking for, again, a bigger flat correction uh, in the IWM where you get something like it, like something like that. Uh, there, you know, there is a possibility that this, uh, I could label it this way, but as you can see, I don't like, this looks like almost like five waves down, and this does not really look like a clean five waves up. So that's why I don't really want to label it just yet. And again, pretty hard rejection there. So it uh, could, could easily be a flat that will go back for one more push lower. Uh, and we'll see if that plays out today. So then uh, the, the oil market uh, had the bounce that we were expecting, uh, timed perfectly with news out of uh, Iran, you know, uh, getting attacked and then maybe retaliating uh, at any moment. And, you know, it could be finished this way, but maybe it will bounce and, and come back up. As long as we're below this level at 84, it could chop around in here until the final wave three comes on um, this wave three. Uh, silver uh, was pumping off this uh, buy area and it theory should continue higher. Gold uh, looks like it truncated here and it will continue higher as well uh, to finish this five before uh, a three before another big move down. Uh, dollar index. Uh, like we uh, we did turn lower pretty hard. Now, if we want to um, double correct, it's always possible. So I'll give a new uh, target. If we are in a new uptrend, that should definitely pressure the stock market lower. Uh, if we're going to continue on this correction up to 105, 105, 28. Uh, so just uh, keep that in mind and that um, the dollar index may want to three swings and then and then put this in uh, and then uh, interest rates uh, started to grind lower uh, we really haven't got though that three of three moment yet in rates but it seems like the market wants to to do that and is is just waiting for the moment to to give it up 
Uh, the VIX uh, did, uh, looks like it hit our buy area exactly and then bounced. So VIX could be in a very uh, uh, dangerous uh, setup for you know, a big push higher up to this 20, low 20 area. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if that plays out or not. Uh, you know, so just keep that in mind. And also, you know, it could still bleed a little bit more into this area, but it, but that was a pretty good reaction when you got that boom up. So that's the market overall. Then, you know, just kind of test stocks that you guys like to trade, like Apple, big day for Apple. Uh, it already had its bounce. So Apple either formed its low and it's going to have a super pump on earnings today or it will uh, take its its uh, last swing lower uh, down, down to this area and put this low in around here uh, and then uh, let's see if meta uh, pumping but again meta is in a weekly cycle correction a weekly cycle correction here as you can see so this pump should fail and go for another swing lower, at least one more swing lower. No matter what happens here in this connector wave, I would expect lower. Amazon, again, uh, could be traded in this two still, looking for lower. Netflix looks like it's uh, trying to bounce in, in the, and form a connector. Tesla. It's trying to come out of this. It's a, it's kind of a stuck, but again, looking for five. If we don't get that, it could be uh, lights out for Tesla. AMD uh, was weak. It got a good rejection. Uh, so now there could be a short opportunity, and I'll give the setup for AMD here uh, for the for a short uh, would be at 159, 164. If it decides to pump one more time. Uh, in a nice three wave area where it could be shorted in this area somewhere in here but it may have already ended before it even started which is uh, sometimes that's what happens with very bearish uh, you know um, things if I didn't put the one there if I put the one there it may have already ended and we're just gonna grind lower Nvidia um, is being very coveted and just you know people just are so in love with it, but it, but they're in love with it at the end of the cycle. Like I always say, everyone loves it at the end. Uh, and again, if we look at the labeling here, it could be an easy an ABC uh, that would get us the reversal on Nvidia right around 119, 125, right about where it's uh, trading. I think right now, somewhere around here, uh, would be the area. If uh, if WW is here, which I think it is now, if it's a five wave move, uh, we'll need a bounce and a failure. I mean, a bounce and a, another swing higher. If it's an ABC, uh, it could very easily be an ABC as well. So it's tough to say what it's uh, where we are with it yet. Uh, if it could easily be an ABC, easily be an ABC, and if it's an ABC, then uh, B. Uh, you know, this will come up, come down, come up, and then B will be in. If it's if it's a WXY, then it's uh, finished anywhere in here. So we just don't know what's the market going to do. What will the market decide? We don't know. So that's why I don't like to trade Nvidia. Then that's about it for now on the big the big stocks. Um, of course, GME, I warned about, you know, you need to be very careful in it now that it's breaking pivots. Looking for it to hit down here now. Uh, how's AMC doing? Trying to build higher um, off this low. Uh, so it's, again, could still be a flat because you have three, I'm sorry, three here and then three here. So, so still don't, we don't have a clear direction yet on AMC. DJT is, um, should be entering the buy area uh, in the next 24, 48 hours, hopefully. 
and then you really need to see that um you know we already have the divergence erased here but the 45 minute would be a little better uh to take uh, this out here this this peak out but you're running out of room so i do think it should go deeper and we need to really hold this 2480 level so then uh that's all i've got on my um update i'll do a live stream uh shortly so uh oh, real quick bitcoin guys um warned about the potential flat and it looks like that's what we're getting in a one two uh could be a one two three four and we get five right here or it could be a one two one two and we go much deeper and i always want it to see a really deep retest of this low to really shake out the weekends and i think we may get that that's why I was like not wanting to chase it. I thought it was kind of an obvious suckers rally here. Uh, and that's why I was warning you guys about this. But um, like, I, like I say, for some reason, everyone wants to trade Bitcoin up here, but no one wants to trade it down here. And that's just how the market is. But I think we're going to push it back down. There could be an opportunity for long here, uh, but we'll, ha we'll wait and see what this wave count looks like. I think buying it here is risky, uh, thinking it's something like this, right? This is a risky play. I think if you're thinking that that's going to happen, you must be thinking the dollar index is done uh, moving higher. And uh, I just don't think, I think we're still in this kind of risk off. Like, I don't think the correction's over, despite the euphoria yesterday, uh, which was kind of... Um, you know, real, really a tragic thing to see because so many people um, probably bought into that hype that are, no, you know, don't understand the market and they're going to probably be led to the slaughter. And it's just sad to watch so many people pile in and not realize it could be piling into a, a, a buzzsaw that's coming. Uh, and, and if we get this final wave lower, uh, they're they're gonna lose a lot of money and they're gonna panic and they're gonna dump it. It's just uh, it's just amazing uh, the the how emotions can change so violently based on just a couple of news articles and and, um, and one earnings report. So just be careful with the FOMO. Like I said, the X they could still keep pushing this higher. They're dangling these gaps in front of you that may never fill until much later. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's all I got. Talk to you later.